guys it is about 7 p.m right now sorry if you hear water the hose is on right now so you might hear some sort of noises but i am going to go on a run typically i will go on runs in the mornings but i don't know i've been doing evening runs recently and they've been pretty nice it's really hot i think today it was around 90 so not ideal for a daytime run but Usually I would go even later, I think it's still pretty warm right now, but I really want to make dessert and I'm just bored, so I'm gonna go out now. I always like my hair up when I run, I can't have it down. I think that's normal for everybody though. I prefer to do a bun. A ponytail will just totally be dead by the end of it. This is the magic for anybody hold a bun are these bobby pins. They're like little springs or twisty. I swear it is so comfortable and your hair will hold all day. I'm still getting used to my retainers. I'm sure you can tell. I think I'm gonna do like two miles and then come home and make dessert because I need something sweet to end my night. On my run and now I'm making the chickpea brownie blondies that you've probably seen. I'm curious to know if it's actually good. People will just like it because it's popular, which I've definitely done, but I'm really picky about my desserts, so if it's not good, I will tell you. We got this nut butter. And then I think I blend it. Then my camera battery died. But not to fear, I did post the recipe and review on my TikTok. So if you want to see that, you can go check that out. Please forgive me. Hello guys. I just got to the salon. I'm so excited because I'm going to get a haircut. Last time I got my haircut, I actually filmed part of it. It was an X. I really needed it because my bangs were growing out but as you can tell we're growing out the bangs my hair is just so long it's always been on the longer side but recently i don't know it's like i just want something different just excited for a change and i feel like i need a little bit of pampering i'm also trying to see if i can get it more wavy more curly so i think getting it shorter is gonna help yeah, you can go through that and then we'll see that. Oh my gosh. It is cut. I really like it. The woman who cut my hair was so sweet. I loved her. She was actually my age, and so we had a lot to talk about. I think this is going to be the perfect summer haircut for me. I think it's going to be way more manageable. It's about 1.30. I don't really have any errands to do and I have the day off today so this was kind of my my thing but anyways I really like it I'm really excited to see also how it will dry naturally and if it's gonna help my curls I'm sure that it will but yeah she did a really really good job on it that I made the other day. I'm making like a cookie dough ice cream. I just wanted to have a little chat with you guys while I'm eating my ice cream. I'm sure the majority of people tapped on my channel just this last like 
six months because of my time in France and all the vlogs that I put out there. So hello if you're new. I really enjoyed doing all of those videos. I'm really proud of them. I think it was a really great way to capture all the memories from abroad and just showcase what life was like for me during that time. I am actually going abroad again in the fall, not back to X, but to Italy. But in this little middle ground during the summer, I'm finding it kind of hard to film. A lot of my content was based off travel. It's hard to do any kind of travel vlogging when you're obviously not traveling, you're staying at home. I'm having a really amazing time having a simple summer content wise. I haven't figured out really what I like to film. I'm also running into the issue where I feel like I'm getting repetitive because I don't find some of my life incredibly interesting at the moment. But I think a really big thing to understand is that people's lives change and that means people's content changes too. When I go to Italy in the fall, my content will change again. So if you are willing to kind of stick through the summer with me, then I know that it'll get a little bit more <laughs> exciting right now. Just stuff like this, making cookie dough ice cream, reading my book, and <laughs> going to the store. It's, it's very simple and very rhythmic, but I think there's also something beautiful about that. I also understand that to me right now, I'm like, well, this is really boring, but to others, maybe they don't experience this and it's exciting to see. So. I'll keep making these vlogs and I hope that you enjoy them. If there's something that you maybe want to see or are curious about, I would love to know and I would love to get inspiration from you. But seriously, this is a really good ice cream combo. 